Hello, my dear friend. A very warm welcome to all of you. In this session, we are going to discuss, as you can see, recent vital statistics and the updates in nutritional requirement for Indian reference male, reference female, what are the changes in them, okay? So first is the recent vital statistics. We need not to learn new natal mortality under five mortality and everything. Main thing is that infant mortality rate is now 30 per thousand according to World Health data. MMR is 112 per lakh, okay? Because the data which India get every six monthly is from SRS, sample registration system, which you know is dual data recording method because in sample registration system, data is first collected by the field worker by doing house to house visit. And then every six month, a supervisor then scrutinize the data and after cross-checking of data collected by these two people, we release the data of SRS. That's why it is double data recording method. But unfortunately, SRS data is not so updated. For example, in 2020, we got the data from May 2018. And in May 2018, the data about birth rate was 20 per thousand and death rate was 6.2 per, per thousand. So this is what we know about birth rate and death rate how we got updated data of IMR and MMR because it is calculated internationally. We know what is the gradient decrease in IMR and uh, MMR. So by calculating that, we know what is the current IMR and MMR. So IMR is 30, MMR is 112. Birth rate and death rate, birth rate is 20, death rate is 6.2 according to May 2018 census, uh, SRS state. Now, these are the four updates which sometime they ask, we have to remember. Let's come to the changes in uh, reference male and female first okay so the first change in uh, reference male and female is this is the guideline that they have given is in the weight the weight of a reference male is now 65 kg 5 kg more and female weight is 55 kg mostly they will ask question from this weight change in the upcoming exam the age previously it was 20 to 39 year but now it is 19 to 39 year is the age of reference male and female. The BMI range of reference male and female is between 18.5 to 22.9 because all this guideline change is for Indian population. Okay, and Indian population is considered to be normal weight if the BMI is between 18.5 to 22.9 because if it is less than 18.5, we all know that it is malnourished, okay? And if you are between 23 to 24.9 BMI, it means you are pre-obese. If you belong to Asian, Southeast Asian population or Indian population, it means pre-obese, okay? And 25 to 27, or you can say 26.9, this is obese category one, okay? So, According to the previous criteria, I used to belong to this category pre-obese previously, but now I am in obese category according to the recent classifications of BMI. So the change is in mainly in weight, age. These are the two things that have changed. The range of BMI is of course one more change. Now, what are the changes in kilocalorie needed per day? For a reference male and reference female. So we all know that the kilocalorie that we calculate is calculated based on whether we are sedentary worker, moderate worker or heavy worker, okay? So there is not much change in that. The changes is there, but it is not too much. You can see this is the kilocalorie which is needed. For men, the weight is 65 kg and the kilocalorie which is, it is around 2100 for sedentary male like me and it is around 1650. 60 is the exact thing. So you can take it as 1700 rounding off the things so 1700 was for sedentary female okay 1700 for a teacher of psm who is mainly in teaching work only and not in the field work and 2100 for a teacher of psm okay then next is for moderate female it is 2130 so you can say it is 2100 and for heavy it is 2720 so it is 2700 you can say so how to remember it first we will add 400 then we will add 600 okay 400 and 600 1700 
then next is 2100 next is 2700 now when you go to female uh, male category in the male category first it is 2100 then it is 2700 so you are adding 600 here okay double of 400 600 so it is 600 you are adding here and next is 3470 so you can say it is 3500 3500 itself so this means this time you have added 800 here so how to remember it very easy first remember what is needed for sedentary for sedentary female start with the lowest one sedentary female the energy needed is 1700 okay then in 1700 add 400 it will become 2100 then in 400 just 200 more it will become 2700 for heavy worker female now you have added 400 and 600 and you had made it 2700 okay now in the male category for sedentary the energy needed is same as moderate female and you can see moderate female is around 2100 and sedentary male is 2100 okay so it's the same 2100 here in which you we have added the same 600 here so it became 2700 again and then lastly we have added 3800 uh, so it becomes 3500 so let's write it down to make it more clear the energy need what are the changes and all okay so to write it down let's select a free space this is sedentary first we have to write then moderate and then heavy okay we will start with female because she need lesser energy uh, per day we, it is and for sedentary female it is start with 1700 kilocalorie per day okay then we will add 400 and it will become 2100 then we will add 600 and it will become 2700 okay now when we talk about male for sedentary and moderate it's the same thing which is going here okay the both of these they go here and here first moderate female 2100 it is for sedentary male 2100 then heavy female it is for moderate male it is 2700 okay you can see the same 2100 and 2700 goes there and the last one comes by adding 800 in 2700 that is 3500 and previously also it was 3500 so how to remember it just remember this 1700 here where it is start then add 400 in it 600 in it and copy paste these two data into sedentary male and moderate male and after adding 400 and 600 what is next 800 468 so add 800 here and it will become for heavy worker male try to write it out down and remember it by closing your eye try to remember it 1700 then 2100 then 2700 2100 2700 goes there then 3500 i hope you will remember it now anyway you can remember it and i even without closing eyes so try to remember it forever and I take it as a challenge and remember it right now now more important which you should read from this change guideline is the required daily allowance for uh, iron calcium and iodine okay so let's see that first and then we will try to write it down now when we talk about calcium calcium is very easy to remember it is the same thousand milligram for adult male adult female and uh, let me let me write it down directly okay what is the recommended dietary alliance for calcium for iron for iodine we can also read about vitamin d okay and we have to read it in four category one is for adult male one is for adult female okay one is for pregnant female and other is for lactating female okay the calcium needed is very simple 1000 milligram per day for adult male adult female pregnant female it is same 1000 milligram per day in lactation it increases to 1200 milligram per day okay for iron for adult male because there is no menses loss so the iron is 19 milligram per day but for female because of the menses loss it is 10 more 29 milligram then in pregnancy it is 27 milligram per day and in lactation it is 23 milligram per day so 19 29 remember then in 29 subtract 2 then 4 and a 27 and 23 for pregnant female lactating female iodine is very simple to remember 150 microgram for adult male and female 250 microgram for pregnant female and 280 microgram for lactating female okay 
So sometimes they can ask, what is the calcium requirement for old age? Old age is almost same as lactating female, 1200 milligram per day. Okay, iron is also same, 23 milligram. Iodine is around 200 to 250 microgram. So they rarely ask about old age uh, iodine and iron. They only ask old age calcium, which is 1200, same as lactating female. Okay. Last is vitamin D, which is very simple because in every age group, it is 600 international unit per day. Whether it is adult male, adult female, lactating female, pregnant female, it is 600 international unit per day. But if there is an infant, that means less than one year, then it is 400 international unit per day. In infant, it is 400 international unit per day. So can you remember this table? I hope yes, because calcium is simple, 1000, then 1200. Iodine is simple, 150, 150, 250, 280. Main thing is confusing is iron, which is not so confusing actually. Us, it is 19. For adult female, it is 29. Pregnancy, it is 27. Lactation, 23. Okay. So try to remember it right now. Take it as a challenge. Pause the video. Remember it right now and write it down by yourself. Because if you keep taking such challenge, then one thing is you can remember this data very quickly. Second thing is, if you will remember even 80% of this data, you should be happy and you will congratulate yourself. Yes, I have good memory. And we keep complaining about the things which we forget, but we never appreciate our memory. So always if there is such, such data or such fact, take it as a challenge, read it for five minutes, close it, and then try to write it yourself. If you will do that, you will appreciate your brain after that. And you will realize how good you, is your memory power, which is actually very good but we just act like idiot and keep doubting our memory power. You know? It's like a bad parenting. If you have an infant, a, a small kid in your house, will you keep hitting him for every mistake? No, no, you will appreciate him, then he will perform better. So like that, this brain is our child and we should always appreciate it. This is the most, actually the most important organ of our body. Mm, no comparison, okay? Now, so appreciate it, you know? wow. Good brain, uh, good memory, okay. Now, next thing is, what are the more other changes is, that protein requirement, we used to read that it is one gram per day per kg body weight. But in the recent changes, they made that protein is needed around 0.83 milligram, protein is 0.83 milligram per kg per day. So because it is 0.83, so you can see in the table itself also that, uh, in the table itself, you can see it is 54 and 46. Uh, let me enlarge it up. Yeah. For 65 kg male, it is 54, not 65. It is not 1 gram per kg. It is 0.83 milligram per kg per day. So it is 54 for male, 46 for female. Okay. Protein. Second thing they said is that we should always make roughage also as an important part of our diet. Because roughage clear our constipation, help in better absorption of other things and keep us happy from inside. And it also prevent, uh, decrease the risk of diabetes mellitus. So always add one plate of salad before your lunch and dinner if you want to actually remain happy from healthy from inside. Okay. Why? There is one more factor why roughage should be added. Because guideline says that for every 2000 kilocalorie that we take, we should take 30 gram of roughage. Okay for every 2000 kilocalorie per day, 2000 kilocalorie per day, okay, 30 gram roughage should be taken. And it's not that roughage do not give us any energy. Roughage give around 2 kilocalorie per gram, okay. For roughage, it is 2 kilocalorie per gram. We know that uh, carbohydrate gives 4 kilocalorie per gram, okay. Protein gives 4.1 kilocalorie per gram and fat gives 9 kilocalorie per gram, roughage gives 2 kilocalorie per gram. Moreover, in the recent guideline, they also said that the salt intake should be less than or equal to 5 gram per day, okay? In an ideal diet for an Indian, it should be less than or equal to 5 gram per day, which is very less, but that's what we should try for, okay? So, uh, these are the changes in the dietary requirement and these are the recent update which I wanted to say. So thank you very much for listening. Hope this discussion is useful for you and you will remember it also. And please, 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 please keep appreciating your child. This is, this need, everyone loves appreciation, including your brain. 
So in a day, at least appreciate it once or twice. You are very good. Okay. Thank you very much, Palasani. Asta la vista. Das vidanya. Bye bye.